Okay, now we're talking about line graphs, and we'll start off with how to read a line graph. And we'll do this by taking a look at one and reading it. And here it is. This is Space Aero Corporation successful satellite launches from 2002 to 2007. And you see down here on the bottom are the years, 2002 to 2007, and over here are the number of launches. And the scale here, you can see this goes from zero here up to four, so obviously this line right in between there is two. So we would have one, two, three, four. Even though every number isn't marked, we can still read them off the graph. And one of the things we see here is that as time goes on, the number of launches trends upward. Even though they dipped back down a little bit from 2004 to 2005, in general, the trend is upward. So this corporation, Space Aero Corporation, is growing or getting bigger or at least getting more successful in its satellite launches as time goes on. And trends are pretty easy to see on a line graph. And that's one of the things line graphs are good for and are often used for, is for showing trends over time. And we're given a couple of questions about this particular graph. How many successful launches took place in 2004? Well, let's go look. In 2004, right here, if we follow that line up, we see this data point right here. And that corresponds to this position on our vertical axis. That's right there between 8 and 12. That's obviously 10. So that's the answer to the question. From this graph, we can see that in 2004, 10 successful satellite launches took place. So we'll answer the question here, 10. Then the next question, what was the average number of launches per year over the six years shown? Well, for each of these six years, we can read the number off the graph. And I'm going to go ahead and write them on the graph. This is right here between 4 and 6. So this is obviously 5 right there. And this is 9 and 10 and 9 again. And you can see this is 12. Just follow that line over to the 12. And this is 15. So we need to average those numbers. So let's do that. We'll do 5 plus 9 plus 10 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15. We need to add those up. And um, you can pull out a calculator or add them by hand. They're not too hard to add up. But they add up to 60. And the average will be... 60 divided by the total number, 60 divided by 6, so that's 10. So over the six years shown, they averaged 10 successful launches per year. Line graphs are also useful for making predictions. If you can establish a trend, you can just extend the line or the curve along that trend, and you can figure out something related to a range where the data isn't apparent. Like in here, in this case, we're given data for these years. You see it's year down here. We're given data from the years uh, 2000 through 2006. And this is the price of a 10-pound bag of hamster chow. And you can see the price is trending up. As time goes on, prices tend to rise. Inflation is the general rule under monetary systems like we have. And so we're told to predict the price of a 10-pound bag of hamster chow in 2008. So this, this is not a straight line. It's kind of a curve. But what we're going to do is continue that trend. So that curve would continue something like this. And it looks like it would hit up here at a little bit below 30. Now that's not exact, but, but that's a pretty decent guess based on an extension of this trend. And you can see that this curve here follows nicely into this line here that we've extended. So the answer to the question, uh, predict the price of a 10 pound bag of hamster chow in 2008, I would say about $28 would be the prediction. Now if those points were all in a straight line, it would be a little bit easier. We could draw in a best fit line. In this case, they're on a curve. We just draw in a best fit curve. We continue that curve as best we can. Note that this is just an estimate. There are some advanced mathematical techniques for finding exactly the best fit curve that goes through the given data, but those techniques are for a much more advanced math class.